you. Yeah, hi everybody, also from my side. My name is Simon, I'm co-founder and CEO of Envelio, and we are working on the digital transformation of energy grids, because actually the grids are a crucial component if we want to really have a successful energy transition. Because if you want to get to the sustainability goals and climate objectives that we have, then we have to integrate millions of more renewable generators into the networks, and we also have to integrate new loads, like for example, charging points for electric vehicles. And that's a really big challenge for today's processes, workflows, and also IT systems that are in place at um, grid operators, the ones who are responsible for actually that grid infrastructure. Because those systems come from a different time where they didn't have that, um, that mass market to deal with. Um, and so all these changes lead to, to problems here because data systems are still quite inconsistent, data silos are not talking to each other, and all the processes associated with planning and upgrading and, and also investing in grids is, is very manual due to, that, uh, due to those systems. And it's not only a matter of process efficiency here, but it's really a matter of is it, is it still feasible in the future? Because if the system becomes more and more distributed, you some, at some point reach a point where you can only do it with automation because it's, it's getting so complex that it's not just possible to handle it manually anymore. Plus also new, new technologies that can help to flexibilize the grid and take more out of the existing grid infrastructure are not really supported uh, in today's processes. Yeah, and that's where we as Envilio come in. And we provide the Intelligent Grid Platform, which is a software-as-a-service solution targeted toward grid operators that helps them to digitize and automate planning and operation processes in the grid. And our solution is a holistic grid operating system for the distributed energy world. So we start really out with data quality in the first step. So we connect to the legacy systems that are in place at utilities. We use machine learning to automatically clean up that data to get to, to a very good state of a, of a digital grid model, like kind of a digital twin of, of what is happening in the real grids. And then we provide a range of applications in the planning domain that can help to make faster and more cost-efficient investment decisions. And we also have an, um, a section IGP operation that, that targets really the real-time operation in the networks. So here we can take in uh, sensor data from different sensors in the grid or also from smart meters in real time. We can uh, process that data and, and get to the current grid state and then also create automated control mechanisms and feed that back, for example, for charging point management in the network or also for managing renewables in the network. And behind the entire platform, there's a range of algorithms, which is actually our, our core strength. Uh, um, it comes from our founding team. We, uh, we come from a research background, so we uh, combine five PhDs as a baseline for, for our platform. And to give you a bit more of an example of what, what you can then do with the technology is one of the example use cases where we are working with uh, the Inogi DSO Vestnets, which is actually the largest German DSO. And with them, uh, we work on electric vehicle charging point integration, like in the screenshot you can see here. Uh, a new charging point has to be integrated. Somebody has to actually check if that's feasible, if the network is, is okay, and if the grid can handle that new connection. And this entire process is streamlined with our solution. Um, and that has actually convinced them to also uh, advance from a pilot stage now towards a full rollout of our system for the entire network, uh, which is 65,000 stations or roughly 10% of the German distribution network. Well, yeah, and as a company, we earn money with a uh, software as a service business model with two major components. So we start out with an onboarding phase, an onboarding project. Uh, which is a one-time thing uh, where we already uh, provide a major value to our customers in helping them to clean up their data in the legacy systems. And then we have the second phase, which is actually the true last phase where we have software as a service fees for each of the applications in our platform. And actually that model has been validated already, so we are now uh, already in the SaaS phase with a couple of customers with, with long-running contracts of several years in place. And yeah, um, that leads me to traction and also our next steps. So as a company, we have been uh, going since April of 2017, so we uh, are shortly past our second birthday. As I said, we come from a research background, so me and my co-founders were already working on this for, for, for more than five years, actually, in a research context. Uh, we have ramped up our team now to 36 people um, and had a first financing round in May of 2018 with the Meta Ventures and Hightech Gründerfonds. Um, and since then, we have really built, on, built up our traction with several German grid operators, but also our first international customers. And that's also actually also where our journey leads from now. So the next steps for us are to become more international. Based on our traction in Germany, uh, we have the first pilot contracts um, with Iberdrola in Spain and, and one other one in Brazil in place. 
Uh, we are also now part of the free electrons program and want to, of course, use that international utility program to, to further ramp up uh, our international expansion. Um, and yeah, now we are also raising our Series A um, to, uh, to help with that internationalization process. So if you are interested, then just come talk to me in the, in the break. Thanks. <clears throat> How much capital are you looking for? Uh, well, I, I will discuss that with, uh, with, with everybody in the one-on-one in the, in the -on meetings. Okay, yeah. okay. He keeps it a secret, but you can find out. Talk yeah, to him exactly. privately. Exactly. Okay. <laughs> Thanks.